Welcome to another episode of video on my Arduino Mega ADK right here um, connected to Bradford with electronics as well as some Fisitonic Megatronics and something that doesn't work yet or not anymore anyway with um, a switch that should um, make a motor run but as you can see some things are a bit in disorder reason for that is that I started with um, a program that doesn't work anymore uh, well the program works but uh, signals aren't passed through anymore for some reason and I uh, for the last three episodes I've been trying to find out what's going wrong um, using the serial monitor uh, for the Arduino I found out that um, values are given through or passed through uh, in a very strange way usually you define a variable and you assign it to uh, one of the ports for instance port 2 and then you give it either a high or a low value literally high literally low so 1 or 0 or you give it a value between 0 and 255 and the problem is that that value is not passed through um, if you assign it to port 2 it will have the value 2 if you assign it to port 3 it will have the value 3 instead of for instance 128 and so now I'm trying to uh, find out if the values that are measured here or are measured here um, are indeed the values that you expect and I have uh, what I ended with last time was trying to interfere with this and that didn't work out interfere um, like defining another in-between variable and uh, give that a certain value and then print it and that didn't work out at all so um, what does work is shielding this um, light dependent resistor which then if you take a look at this LED it is indeed responding but that is only because it is um, responding to the light then this one is working because I put it one or low uh, one or zero um, like this one this one is just burning this one is either one or zero and then this circuit is working or should be anyway um, and that's the current situation so how to go on well stubbornly going on and trying to find out what's wrong and why it might be that the board is just uh, broken I don't hope so um, I'm afraid it's out of warranty but I'll have to find out if it really is anyway that's for introduction so now I'm going to the screencast and find out what else I can do so now what is the uh, situation I have um, pulse width modulation, a very clear signal right here. I have something of a signal right here. There is a signal that is very clear because this is running. Um, but what is what? Uh, right, mechatronics, pin mode 4. Or um, output 4, anyway. Uh, output 4 is right here 
is maximum speed. No doubt about that one. And yet it says 4 right here. Um, if I change this, will this change? It should. Um, this one, which actually is the feed 2. Um, now I have to be really careful with this. Um, and then I notice some signals as well. Alright. Wiring needs to be careful. Carefully done. Um, and right now the blue line, this one, is the feed to um, RC uh, line. So I'm talking about this part. Two. I'm going to write with that because, yeah, RC circuit, pin two, right here. So. Pin 2, resistor 5, capacitor 1, uh, and the switch which goes to input A5 and LED 3. And connected to the ground with resistor 6. Um, so this is... Uh, now I need to find out what is what. Out 2, out 2 is 64. So 64 out of 255. I did that last time, that is correct. 255. Now, this is, as I said, the uh, other one, the mechatronics. So let me change this to 64. I should get the exact same outing. But will I? Uh, it is also correct. So go all right not quite so and it doesn't run anymore it doesn't run at all although if you look at it okay let me change the channel Now it stands still, and this is uh, badly malformed, but it is the same. So if I change the channel back to channel 2, kind of the same. It's not what I like, but let me change it to 128. And by the way, uh, it doesn't uh, run anymore, so why doesn't it run anymore? Okay, it needs some uh, help to run. So if I change it now back to 255 maximum, then it should run. Yeah, now it goes without any aid. So that means that with a smaller value, lower value, um, this is apparently, um, this is apparently a too, uh, a too much um, of a force to, uh, to deal with this, this small motor. All right. Um, then next, okay, let me push this one and yeah, okay, that was loud, so that works as well. Um, this one works, this one works, but still, this is off, way off. Next question. What to investigate further? Well, um, 
um, I can still investigate with this uh, combination so that this works again. And then I'm talking about the pot meter. The pot meter that I had done originally for regulating, controlling the speed of this whole thing. That means that uh, out 2 goes out. No, not out. Uh, pin 4. Pin 4 goes wrong. Uh, goes away then. What have I done then? Yeah. That will be. Where is it going anyway? Oh, it's out of the socket. Also very nice. So I need to fix one wire, which is this brown wire, and it needs to be in, or does it need to be in according to the schematics, um, oh here, A6, is that true? I'm talking about a pot meter. Well, that's the only pot meter I have. That would go to A6 then. Okay, so be it. A6 it is. Careful with that. Let's go wire. Okay, so I've tried to wire, but the only way to find out if that is indeed correctly done, um, I have here already a six uh, defined. Um, what did I do here? A six, yes, also defined. So here is A6 not yet done, so what I'm going to do is simply copy this and make this A6. Um, six then they should be all right and I shall know very soon if a six is indeed being registered being read it's 60 all right now with screwdriver this big one I'm going to regulate to um, change it a six what will a six turn into? Nothing. So I think it's not even connected yet. Which is not nice, but And so I'm trying to get the wire nicely in, nicely in its socket, that should do it. Is A6 now readable? Moreover, is A6 changing value? 
how do I measure that best? Well, if the monitor doesn't change, then I take another probe and connect it to the wire. Have to be careful, of course. Um, how to do that best? Hopefully, something like this. And I find absolutely nothing. Or it is a very low value. Let me check. Okay, how to do that safely? That's a very good question, how to do that safely. Let me just touch it for a moment. And a screwdriver with it. And then turn the value and watch it your cell watch your oscilloscope. Oh yeah. There's definitely value there. Alright. So how do I measure it right here? Also the same of course. So that does work. So then why does it read from A6? How did I define A6? A6 analog in pin. A6 input. And here analog in pin. So why am I not getting a nice value out of that? Let me use a wire. Uh, now I have to put it somewhere nicely. And that's going to be a problem of a bit. Where to put that wire? And that it sticks, sticks somewhere. Two wires in a narrow hole. That's not going to. Uh, that's not going to work. So maybe I can do it. No, that's not going to work either. I have to find a very good solution for this. Where does it go wrong? Is A6 wrong or not? And I don't want to, to... Yeah, and that way I pull out a wire. So that's making things worse. Much worse. So I have to find a solution for this. And of course, the solution for the probe was very simple. Just connect it to the meter itself. And 
then it becomes quite clear that uh, whenever I turn the pop meter, the value on the oscilloscope changes. And then I'm talking about this one, of course. And why the rest has gone, I do not know. The rest of the signals are gone. Wires out or something, not that I can see. So this is quite strange. Anyway, um, when I turn the pot meter, the value of A6 should change. So if this is full, this is now at full uh, number. So when I turn it exactly the opposite, it should be another number. And guess what? It doesn't change. It stays 60. So that is something I don't like. At all. And what if I say, okay, digital. Uh, um, what I can also say is digital outpin 6 is and then I changed it into 1 and just for testing I make another one and make this a 6 what will be the difference if any because this is the variable assigned to a6 but what does a6 say so yeah really no kidding I don't get this one. Now, I am very curious about those two things. Digital out pin 6, 1 and 2. What happens when I turn the pot meter? Six and sixty. And they remain six and sixty. Oh, wait, 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 I'm making a mistake somewhere. Digital out pin 6, oh, wait a minute. No, digital out. Uh, I'm making a mistake, this should be, no, not here. Not here, wait. Really, I'm messing up. This is... This should be digital out in 6. I'm, I should be looking at digital in pin 6. So, this will be 1. And this is going to be 2. And this is A6, which is the input. This should be it. All right. So, which is which? And look, in pin 60, 60. All right. All right. Fall down. Um, okay. So now, once again. Halfway. Fully up. 
Infin 6 A uh, A6 1 and 2 both 16 Harvey 60 and 60 down 60 and 60 how is this possible Okay, this asks for a fourth probe. Um, I don't like this happening. And by the way, the puzzle modulation on this one is utterly gone, which I don't like either. Now I have signal back, so I should put it like that. And the fourth signal, am I measuring right here? So upon turning the pot meter, both signals should be the same. Both two lower lines should be the same, and they do. They are. But there is no change in value at all. This is bad. This is particularly bad. Which means I can't control this one this mechatronics with this pulp meter anymore. I have to check other ports. But once again time is running out. So, um, that was not such a nice um, happening. Uh, struggling with some wires, then also filing that the value of A6 is not being read. Um, the oscilloscope doesn't lie. So, which port can I use? I have, well, I have quite a range of input ports remaining. So, uh, all hope is not lost, but it doesn't look promising. Um, and then, um, well, the strange effect that this probe gives um, not really a good uh, signal, although it does clearly drive the mechatronics, so that's all right. But it's not what I expect. Um, and uh, next time, also more of this somehow. I hope. So, um, for now, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you like. It's much appreciated if you do. Um, also, you can follow me on Twitter. If you do, please retweet, like, and leave a comment. You can also follow me on Instagram. Please like and leave a comment. And there are some short videos on my Instagram TV channel. If you like, you can request some more. Um, you can show your support um, by uh, making a small donation. Um, you can also uh, choose to become a patron and have your name mentioned as a supporter. And... Um, Depending on the pledge you make, your name will be mentioned just on my website or on my website as well as with my videos on several ways. So, thank you for watching and bye bye.